So we're delighted to welcome to the studio, which in fact is the lobby of the Irish Cultural Centre, uh, from Roaring Voices, which is here on October the 25th, we have Inky, Inky Ben, welcome. Thank you, hi. <laughs> and also playwright and activist, Sonia Linden. Welcome, Sonia. Thank you. Now, Roaring Voices is coming here to the ICC, October the 25th. What is Roaring Voices? That's true. Um, Roaring Voices is um, a community interest company that I set up to really get us all roaring together. And how do we roar? We take music or any of the art forms, but in particular we're running a series on music, music, and we take um, an expert panel and we allow you to be entertained whilst discussing the social issues of the day. And the biggest social issue at the moment the environmental crisis. And so what we do is to celebrate the Earth's diversity and the diversity of people, we actually marry different genres of music. So what's different and unique about us is that we take music and we take the panel and we can, and our roarers are the audience. And so what we do is we say, listen to our music because we marry the diverse, diverse um, musicians and listen to our music, listen to our panel, and then let's have a discussion and let's, let's get you to understand why the environmental issues affect you, the individual. So we pick different topics each time and we're trying to build up to a big roar. And the, uh, the title of this particular event is No Irish, No Blacks, No Dogs, Migration, Refugees and the Climate Crisis. No Irish, No Blacks, No Dogs obviously refers back to the original Windrush uh, and the the people who came over in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s to build our roads, to run our hospitals, to run the public transport system. Uh, the climate crisis is not always connected to the, the uh, question of immigration. Um, what made you choose that title and that subtitle? Um, actually, it's true. It's one of the reasons uh, we did choose the title is to highlight that there is a correlation. Um, migration, whatever side of the fence you are on now, is going to increase. And the reason it will increase is because the climate in crisis is real. And for example, floods. I mean, look at the weather at the moment and it will get worse. And with the flooding um, in this country, for example, we know we're going to get homelessness. We're going to have um, harvest problems with our harvest. But more than that, um, outside and in sub-Saharan Africa and, um, and uh, in the global south, uh, there will be um, problems with famine there will be the 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 problems with the heat the drought so people will tend to have to move and they will have to migrate they will have no choice so migration will become an even bigger issue and we need to find a sympathetic way and a holistic way and a global answer to the migration question as a result of the climate crisis because of course scarcity of resources is what causes many of the wars that we see going on around the world Absolutely. at the moment uh, Sonia, what is your part in all this? Well, my part is, first of all, helping Natasha create this amazing organisation. Um, we met as friends, we started talking about it, and here we are today. And be I'm particularly interested in the next one because I've worked for a very, very long time with refugees. I'm a writer and I worked with Freedom From Torture many years ago to set up their Right to Life project, which meant working one-to-one -one with clients, people who had experienced persecution and torture, and helping them either do something creative, a piece of creative writing, but mostly it was testimonial and along the way therapeutic. So that started, that is still ongoing today, many, many years, I'm very proud of that project. Um, and that for me was a completely life-changing experience because there I was sitting next to somebody who had been through such extraordinary and, and terrifying experiences, but were alive to tell the story today. Um, both Natasha and I actually are children of refugees, so it's close to our hearts. Natasha from the Biafra War, my parents from Nazi Germany. So refugees speak a lot to us through our own family stories. Um, and then because when I was working at uh, Freedom From Torture, one of the things that the writing clients that I work with um, 
that I mentored, and we built up a team of mentors, they were absolutely desperate for the British public to understand why they were here, because they were con constantly in fear because of the newspaper headlines. They felt they knew there was hostility in, in, in the UK, a country that they thought was so fantastic to do with human rights, and they couldn't understand why people didn't understand what they were fleeing from. Uh, and were regarded as sponges and parasites, etc. And I could not get a single publisher interested in any of their work. So as a playwright, I thought I will try and take some of their stories with their permission and put them on stage. So I founded a theatre company called Ice and Fire Theatre, which is still existing today. And that's what we did. We told refugee stories. Now we tell stories about human rights. So I've got a lot of connections with refugees and that's why Natasha brought me on board really for this particular evening. And can I just say the reason we want to be at the Irish Centre and we're in collaboration with the Irish Centre is because as we know Ireland is a nation of migrants. Um, I think that um, uh, getting our stories out and, and what's going to happen going forward um, is important for it's important and it's important for us to all collaborate. So what we want to do is say um, we stand with the Irish, we stand with all migrants, actually, and so that we can take things forward and, and roar together about these issues. We are we're very honoured to have one of your singers with us in the studio today. Um, for anyone out there who's confused, Inky, you're also, your, real, your underlying name is Natasha. <laughs> Yes, Ink is my nickname. It's my Nigerian nickname, so um, I am known by both interchangeably. <laughs> uh, do you want to introduce Planet? Oh, yes. So Blanid is a wonderful singer who uh, is Irish. She will be singing at the Rory Voices event. She's interested in the environment. Her songs are pertinent not just to the environmental issues, but to the migrants' cause. And she is fantastic. And we're very lucky to have her for the second time because yeah, you've been on before. Really Welcome back, Lani. Lovely, lovely, really lovely to be back. She's extraordinary. <laughs> What's the first song you're going to play? Um, the first song I'm going to play is Tourists. Um, me and Natasha had a talk about um, which of my songs would be appropriate to sing. And um, seeing as obviously the topic is about um, migration um, and all the issues surrounding that. Um, and my song is kind of about the transience of, of being um, and how we each move, move in and out of lives. Um, we thought it provided um, a nice link in that way. Uh, so here we go. Summer days heavy Run my fingers through your hair Play me, play me, impale me on your lashes As I sing Softly do we make our chorus Who are they but golden tourists Passing through our summer shadows crowning in their wake Before they softly make their daily chorus Then are we those golden tourists Passing through their summer shadows crowning in our wake Aching days, wishing nights Feel your sweat in your lights Hold me, hold me, love me, love me closer to you Take my hand, don't ask me breathe you then let me leave you when it's light 
stolen time spinning room wasted touch forgotten hoods hush me hush me crush me crush me in your palm once Keep falling for it is a lie. I won't love you and I won't try to, but I can't seem to say goodbye. Passing through our summer shadows, crowning in their wake, before they softly make their daily chorus. Then are we those golden tourists, passing through their summer's shadows, crowning in our wake? Whoa! Thank you very much. Uh, what a beautiful voice you have, bloody. Extraordinary. Inky, Natasha. Um, Hi. So the 25th, it's a Friday night. Yes. It's um, it's chatting. We're very good at that here. <laughs> it's music. Again, we're very good at that here. And you also, your panel involves um, Lord Dubbs, once yeah. the MP for Battersea, who's another friend of this show. He's one of our patrons, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. How, how does it work with the panel? Do, do you... Do you Play, someone plays a couple of tunes and then you go back to the panel? Yes, so we intersperse the uh, music with the panel. Um, uh, we know that actually when you're being entertained, you're more likely to be interested in what the panel have to say. We also make it interactive so you will be able to ask questions. There's networking and a glass mm. of wine included in the ticket, oh, by the way. Right. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be able to drink talk and 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 chat uh, find out more and really sign up to become a roaring voice and if yeah. you get here early you'll be able to listen to the trad session in the bar that's yes. right yeah. which is why we say please arrive at 7 30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. um, your panel also includes as well as sonia and mm -hmm. alf dubs it includes Son uh, gaia vince and mm -hmm. princess katarina yeah and as well as blana do you have linda is it my budget <laughs> yes. Um, Linda is actually an amazing uh, classical singer. So uh, she's uh, she can sing in various languages. And uh, she is also going to duet with Blanid. So it will be very oh, interesting. Nice. And um, and then they will do a reggae duo. So um, <laughs> I, it will be a very interesting night because we're taking the... Um, the different genres, and we're putting them together because that's how we should all be. We should all roar together. Well, yeah, Brilliant. as as the new T-shirt that the, the <laughs> Phil Liner lookalike wears, more blacks, more dogs, more and more Irish. Irish. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank Brilliant. you, Inky. Fantastic. We uh, look forward to it. And we've come to the end of the show. We'd like to thank everybody who's been on so far. Definitely. Uh, before we go. We're going to play out with Planet one more time and her beautiful voice. Planet, what are you going to take us home with? Um, I'm going to sing a traditional Appalachian song, um, wow. which, uh, which is again um, linked to the theme of um, climate change and, and migration. Um, and it's from the mother's perspective, talking to her son throughout her life. It's called Open Your Eyes. Open your eyes, my newborn son, see your world, it's new begun. Cruel is the land beneath our feet, heaven sends a cross to eat. Hush a by, taste the sweetness of your years. By and by, we'll all learn the taste of tears. 
Open your eyes, my growing son. There is hard work to be done. Follow your father in his toil. Bend your back and break the soil. Who can say what you sow in bitter sand? Day by day, something stirs our sleeping land. Open your eyes, my gentle son. Take your leave and take your gun. Follow your father through the hills. Heaven gives and heaven kills. Go with God and the young men in their prime. Here I'll wait where I waited all through time. Open your eyes, beloved son. Is your day so quickly done? How can you fall asleep so soon when the sun stands yet at noon? Walk with me as we walk the spring ago. Come and see flowers have begun to grow. Absolutely brilliant. Wonderful.